Sasol Technology enhanced its research capacity through building a world-class facility with first world laboratories that will house Sasol's team of researchers. These researchers are a pool of graduates that Sasol pull from the universities they partner with. This new development marks one of the many investments that Sasol continues to make in its home base, South Africa. Sven Godor, Executive Manager Research and Technology at Sasol, gave us a bit of a background behind the facility. The new building we've put in at the Sasselberg campus is really just an extension of our research and development campus for Sasol technology in South Africa. Um, Sasol does about 90% of its research and development in South Africa at the moment from a Sasol technology perspective where we work on the core processes and this building really houses some of the, um, the areas that have been growing. It includes um, areas that are looking at things like our refining technologies, our fuels technologies, also our alternative energy is housed within that um, building as well. We have a small team that's now starting to look at alternative energy and how a company like Sassel can move beyond its current line of business away from being a very fossil fuel based company into a bright future. Sassel has been historically known of producing synthetic fuels and fuel components from non-standard resources. Through research, they would like to come up with other mechanisms to improve their products. The work that we intend doing in this facility is going to be focusing on taking forward our new gas to liquids technologies that we are busy developing at the moment, which is really a big part of our drive um, in terms of taking advantage of the the current trends in the world markets, we're sitting with relatively high oil prices in the world, relatively low gas prices, and this really is a wonderful opportunity for the Sassel GTL, or gas to liquids technology, to be taken forward. So taking that technology forward, making sure that the products that come out of it in terms of the fuels, the jet fuels, the things that run our aircraft, that run our motor cars, um, are of, of, of a correct specification and are, can be applied directly into the markets. The fact that any chemicals that can be extracted from these processes, that this is done as efficiently and adding as much value as possible, that is one of the key strategies that's happening over there. We of course have the longer term stuff, which is the alternative energy work, and then we have the stuff also before that, which is really just also about maintaining our current facilities. We've got a lot, a lot of operating plants with using a lot of in-house technologies and we're continuously looking at ways of improving these from an environmental compliance point of view, from a, um, from a um, final product saleability point of view to make sure that we remain compliant with what is required by the market and can also adjust to shifting market um, demands as they come along. Innovation in terms of technology remains a key to Sassel as it is determined to develop new technologies as well as boost its knowledge centre with a team of qualified researchers who explore new areas of research. Innovation is something that happens on an ongoing basis and, and we try and keep innovation going in our existing technologies as well as in the development of new technologies. So perhaps this is best illustrated by, by, by two examples. If we have a look at our existing technologies, which are really about the conversion of, 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 of synthesis gas into high value diesel and, and chemical components, there's a fischer tropsch synthesis reaction over there. And we are working continuously on improving both the catalyst and the reactor systems within which the conversions happen to improve the efficiencies, to lower the costs, um, and to produce exactly those products that are demanded in the modern markets as well, where there's obviously an increased focus on, on cleanliness of the product. So we take our existing processes and we improve those on a continuous basis. And then we have innovation that happens also in terms of developing completely new processes. And um, a recent example is something like a tetramerization technology, which we developed here in South Africa, um, which is a whole new route to a, a chemical called 1-octene, which is used in plastics to give plastics and um, co-monomers the, um, the particular properties that they need. Um, and that was a technology that was developed by our team in South Africa and which we are currently commercializing and building the first plant to, to produce this material. As skill shortages remain a problem in South Africa, Sassel remains committed to spend about 25 million rand in a year with local universities to maintain research capacity in those institutions. Skills development strategy is the key to maintain continuous inflow of researchers with fresh ideas from universities that Sassel partners with.